What's up guys? Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Dylan Turley. Uh, follow the channel and you'll get to learn some things about me that you probably do and do not want to know. But this video is going to be pretty quick and I do my best thinking like when I'm driving. So this is probably the best time slash don't do this. I'm just on a bunch of open roads so I can still not supposed to do this but I'm going to do it anyway. But coming back to it, I wanted to talk about when it comes to chasing your dreams. So, real quick recap, if you've known me for a while or watched some of my earlier videos, you would see that I talked about working at UPS. I've worked at UPS for three and a half years, and when I first started, that was my career path of choice. I thought I wanted to be a UPS driver, because if you know about UPS drivers, um, most of the time they can work upwards of making $40 an hour and I knew three guys in my center that made upwards of a hundred thousand dollars a year one topping out at 120,000 so a lot of money on the line obviously but about a year into it real quick before you start before you start driving, you're rather a preloader or a reloader. So if you're preloader, you're coming in at 3 a.m. or so, and you're getting done at about 8. That's what I did. And also, I had a second job. So I went from 8 to 5 with my second job, and then would go train. Obviously, that's not optimal for somebody that is trying to build muscle and is trying to stay fit, because as you could probably picture, I was only getting 5 hours and 30 minutes of sleep to the max and that was Monday through Friday and I figured out about a year and a half into I didn't want to do preload forever but I sit there and I just thought to myself you know just keep putting yourself out there and one day you'll become a driver but that's never guaranteed at least at my center the communication in my center was the thing that was really just the uh, one of the biggest points for me is you, the communication lacked very hard. I mean, we didn't even know what time we were getting to work preload wise until like we got a text message about eight o'clock that night when we should surely already probably be in bed. So that was rough, but like I said, I was like, I'm gonna stick it out for probably a year, two, and become a driver, and that's it. Well, finally got to go to driver school, got to go to Atlanta, had an awesome experience there learning how to drive a UPS truck. Got it done, came back and didn't drive for another six months. But, I mean, I guess I understand it's, you just, when you need it. When you get your, you go to school to be a driver, that does not guarantee that you're going to be driving when you get back for anybody that is looking into UPS as a career. It means they're gonna use you when they need you. Holy shoot, we got freaking terrible lighting going on right now, but I'm probably gonna make this just one cut video, so I'm gonna keep it going. But when they need you, and that alone is a hard deal, because for one, if you're doing preload, you only start at like $13 an hour, at least you do in uh, Arkansas, and that does not pay your bills when you're only working 20 hours a week. Now, during Christmas time, granted, yes, you do get uh, overtime a bunch, but when it's anytime but Christmas, that does not pay your bills or hardly, if pay anything. Like, only thing it paid for me was my insurance and my vehicle, which still really was not that much money. But, yes, and then I was... 21 years old and already had a back injury and my knees hurt and everything and everybody like one thing that I tell everybody I'm like a new car with a lot of miles and was driven hard for them miles so my body did not like it we had a bunch of UPS drivers that had to get like knee surgery and everything like that because it's just hard on your body I mean props to all the UPS drivers out there and the people that do preload because it is definitely very very hard on your body and I did not want that especially because one of my biggest passions is fitness and training, so I did not want to injure myself there and then go and try to recover from it at the gym. I'd rather be trying to build muscle than be trying to recover. So there was also that, but getting to it, 
I recently quit that job. That was last Friday. And it was not really emotional in the way of like, a, uh, and saying it's so weird because I know that I could have made massive amounts of money and I don't mind driving. That's, that's not the thing, but it, it's not my passion. There, there are so many more things that I want to be doing besides that. And I'm sure a lot of people look at me different now that I do that because I did throw away the potential to make $100,000 a year. But the thing that made me feel a lot better about the whole situation to begin with is like there was no there was no fear. Like when I went and told my boss that I'm putting my two weeks in, there, there was no fear that came above me that was like, what, what are you going to do? I mean, you, you could be making $40 an hour one day, but for one, I didn't know when that one day was going to be. Two, I didn't want to put my body through that much stress. And three, it's not what my passion is. Like, it, and it's hard for people to understand that if, if you're not doing something that's chasing your dreams. Because there's a lot of people that are killed to have the opportunity that I have, but it, it's not what I wanted to do. So, as of last Friday, I am not working at UPS anymore. And the feeling that it is now, just to be able to get to freaking sleep for eight hours a day, or yeah, eight hours a night, is the most unbelievable experience ever like just even going in the gym at that it's it's just like i've only been going for uh, today's wednesday and i quit where i was done friday and just just the energy that comes back and you're just looking so much more forward to it i mean i was used to popping monsters and like bangs and all kind of pre-workouts all the time just to get enough energy to go to the gym and mind you i have not got stronger in the last two years i have actually gotten weaker I would say because I just don't have the energy and it's but the energy that I got bad plus feeding the the dream of me trying to get to do something that is persuade towards more fitness is the most incredible thing ever and I hope everybody gets to experience that one day because I'm a firm believer that the reason why you have dreams is the reason if you're your spiritual is is why God put you here it's him trying to show you that this is what you should do and you should not wake up and dread going to work like I did and not, not just mentally but physically every single morning so now I literally get to wake up with seven to eight hours of sleep it is the best freaking feeling I ever have I go into the gym so freaking exciting I don't even need a pre-workout like it's awesome and I hope that everybody gets to experience something like this one day. But I want to recap on this real quick. That does not mean just go and quit your job right now. You need to assess your situation. And my situation was very, very good. I'm 23 years old. I do not have no debt whatsoever. Uh, I pay very, very, very low bills. And if there's any time for you to chase your dreams, it's when you're young because you have all these risks that you can take and they're usually not gonna be much backlash because if your family's supportive and your friends supportive, they should be supporting you to do it. So I just wanna end with this, guys. If you have a dream and, you, and, you, and you, you're gonna put all towards it, which I got big plans coming up, guys, like for fitness stuff like here in my area, I mean, for freaking YouTube, I am so pumped for this because I feel like my time has finally come to where I can show y'all and everybody that I'm not just a UPS worker. I'm I'm the underdog now. And be honest with you, it freaking pumps me up. But I'm gonna end the message with that, try to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, where guys, go chase your dreams. Freaking go get them! because I'm going to get mine right now and I hope y'all stay along for the ride. Make today worth it, guys, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out!